Hey bud, Chronic Crafter here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this stoner art using some gel pens and some black paper. Trust me, even you can make this. Yes, I'm talking to you. Can't draw a pot leaf? That doesn't matter. Go down to the link in the description to print off this page from my website. So here's my template. I sized it to fit perfectly inside a 5 inch by 7 inch frame. So the first step is to cut out the leaf. Boom, and we have a leaf. So now we are going to place it on our black paper and trace around the outline using our pencil. Once the leaf is totally outlined, cut along the lines. Now we need to find a Zentangle pattern. My favorite place to find these is obviously on Pinterest. So just go in there and search Zentangle patterns or beginner Zentangle patterns. You should be able to find some inspiration on there. Some of the images on Pinterest even like break it down step by step how to do the pattern. So that's really helpful if you're a noob and have no idea what you're doing. I found this untangled pattern that I really like. It looks cool. It's pretty simple to do. So let's get at it. To draw on my leaf, I'm going to be using these gel pens. It's a major throwback to my days as a 90s kid, which is pretty cool. I'm also a pretty big fan of the black, which is like, you know, black and boring. And then the bright colors. I feel it makes it pop a lot more. Now I'm going to draw my Zentangle pattern all over my leaf. I feel that Zentangles are often looked at as like really hard and complicated designs. And some of them, sure, totally are. But I just see Zentangle as a simple pattern that is repeated so many times that it like tricks your brain into thinking that it's really complicated, where really it's not. Just like anything in life, if you don't understand it and it's making your brain frizzle, you just gotta break it down into the simplest steps and do those. Another thing about Zentangles is you screw up once and you're like, I fucked it. This whole thing is fucked. It looks terrible. Which also totally isn't true. Because by the time you're done drawing out the rest of your design, there's so much going on that your brain isn't going to pick up on the one little area that you screwed up on. It looks totally good. So we're just going to watch me speed through this drawing and then pick it back up at the end. Now that I'm finished drawing on my leaf, I'm going to put it in my picture frame, but of course it needs a background first. If you wanted, you could just use more black paper or white paper for a background, but I have like this really cool plastic psychedelic scrapbooking paper that I decided I'm going to use. You can use normal scrapbooking paper too. There's like tons of different designs out there and you can find one that perfectly complements your drawing that is on your leaf. I'm really digging this look so it's time to cut my paper to size so that it will fit inside of my frame. I used a glass in the frame to figure out what size I needed and just traced around it with a pencil and then cut along the lines. All that's left is to put it together. I hope you found this tutorial easy and straightforward and you can now make your own stoner art. The link to the template is down in the description. You can see my whole life in the reflection. <laughs>